My name is Dr. Chris Burwell. I'm senior scientist and curator of insects or entomology at the Queensland Museum. So I'm standing in front of this amazing cast of the internal structure of a nest of a giant bull ant, Mermesia brevinoda. So we commissioned Australian ant art to make a cast of, of a bull ant's nest using aluminium. So they've cast it in molten aluminium, very dangerous process, pouring it into the entrance hole and filling up all the chambers and, and uh, tunnels underneath the ground. And then once that's set, they've then dug the nest out and excavated it, transported it, uh, all the way up to Brisbane from New South Wales and our cunning um, prep staff have managed to suspend it in the space here. So it makes a really beautiful, almost art feature within the gallery. Um, so yeah, it literally shows you that ant nests are, are, are like icebergs. So you might have a little mound above the surface or maybe not even a mound and with a little entrance hole, but underneath there's vast amounts of soil that have been moved. This particular nest, goodness knows how old it is, it could be five or ten years old. These ants can live for decades and it's got a single queen inside that basically um, when she dies the, the nest will die off and all the workers will disappear. This casting adds so much to the exhibition for a number of reasons. One is that insects are tiny little creatures. They're really difficult things to portray to the public how amazing they are. So we've used a lot of visual imagery in the display, close-up photographs of specimens, but this just adds this amazing sculptural piece, which is a real sh um, showpiece in the center of the gallery. But it also really conveys the amount of work that insects do in the environment. So ants and termites are ecosystem engineers, they move around lots of soil, they improve soil quality by their tunnels letting water percolate into the soil more easily. So they have a really dramatic impact in the environment and this amazing nest cast is one way to really get that message across without just having a photo of an ant and a description of what they do. So ants amongst the insects are a really important group for a number of reasons. One is that they are social insects, so they live as a colony. So an ant itself might be quite small, but the colony is quite, can be small, but it can be very large as well. So they're almost the sort of um, equivalent of vertebrates if you think of an ant nest as an individual organism rather than a collection of lots of individuals. So they've got weight of numbers. So one is that there's lots and lots of nest ants out there, lots of different kinds, lots of nests. So that means they pack a punch when it comes to um, ecosystem services. So they do all sorts of things. Most of them are general predators, so they're the things that are hunting other animals in the environment. They provide food for other organisms. There are all sorts of things that eat ants. In fact, lots of mammals and birds that specialize in ants. Think of an echidna. They are ecosystem engineers. Their tunneling activities underneath the ground um, help improve infiltration of soil into uh, water into the soil. Um, and they do other surprising things as well. And there's another part of the exhibition where ants are featured, whereby they spread plant seeds. So in certain countries around the world, often with nutrient poor soils, there are special plants that have seeds that are designed to be spread by ants. They have the seed part, but they have a little fatty bit on one end that's attractive to ants. They grab the seeds, they take them back to the nest, they nip off the fatty bit that feeds their larvae, and the seed gets deposited in the nest where nutrients are a little bit higher, maybe where they're more protected from fire and thereby perhaps their chance of germinating is higher. And Australia is the country in the world that has more plant species with these special seeds than anywhere else. So one of the amazing things about Mimesia, we've just got the nest cast of one species here. And in fact, that species is significant because 
within the nest the workers are vary in size and the largest ones are supposed to be the longest ants in the world, up to 3.5 centimetres long. So that's interesting in itself. But there's, I think there's in the order of 80, more than 80 species of Myrmecia ants in Australia and they get called inchmen if you're from Tasmania, bulldog ants, bull ants, jumper ants, various names. But they're the equivalent of kangaroos. So they're all found in Australia, nearly all found in Australia. So there's only one species that's not found in Australia and it's in New Caledonia. So basically it's an Australian group of ants. So what's the Insect Agency exhibition and why have a big exhibition on insects? The reason why is because it's a very important year for entomology in Australia. It's the 100th anniversary of the Queensland Entomological Society. So that's a society with members dedicated to the study of insects and it was the first entomological society in Australia. So that was the impetus for the museum to put on this great big exhibition concentrating on insects and positive stories about insects. So we're in the space now and it's in the final stages of construction. That's great. Alright, cool. Thanks.